Hi there, I'm Renee Fuentes and welcome back to my channel, Thai Caliente. Today I'm sharing a recipe for you guys for tortas ahogadas, which in Spanish translates to drowned sandwich. So tortas ahogadas are a recipe from in the city of Guadalajara, where my husband's family is from. And after tasting this recipe and having the real deal in Guadalajara, I can say it's pretty similar. So I will note that traditionally tortas ahogadas are made with carnitas. I'm actually gonna be using pork tenderloin and cooking it in the Instant Pot. This is just a faster, kind of healthier option. Um, but by all means, if you wanna use carnitas, definitely do that. Um, the sauce is super easy. It's just tomatoes and onions. And then we also have a spicy salsa that we can add to it as well. But I promise you guys, you're gonna wanna try this recipe. So let me show you how to make it. So I have my pork tenderloin here and I've just kind of um, cut it up into big chunks. This is a little bit less than three pounds. And then I have two teaspoons of salt, some whole garlic cloves, use as many or as little as you like, one whole onion, and then I've just peeled it and halved it. And these are um, two bay leaves and I have some either California chilies or guajillo peppers. Uh, make sure you wipe them off with a wet paper towel too. So in the Instant Pot, season your pork with the salt, and then I'm adding one cup of plain water. You can also do some um, broth too for a little bit more flavor. The whole garlic cloves, um, the onions, I'm putting the cut side face up so that way it's easy to remove. And then the chili peppers, I just put them in whole along with the bay leaf. So put the lid on the Instant Pot, set the valve to sealing, and then since this is less than three pounds, I'm just gonna do 40 minutes. Otherwise, if it was more than three pounds, then I would do 45 minutes. So for the sauce, it's just one whole onion that I've just kind of sliced in half and then sliced thin. And then it's just Roma tomatoes. This is about a pound of Roma tomatoes. Make sure you rinse them and leave them whole. And then I have a little bit of salt. So first we're going to bring the tomatoes to a boil. And you wanna boil them for a few minutes until they get soft and you can kind of see the skin removing and place them in a blender. Um, I just have a little bit of the cooking liquid, maybe not even a quarter of a cup add the salt and then go ahead and blend it until a smooth sauce forms. So while the sauce is still warm, you wanna go ahead and add it to the sliced onions. Go ahead and pour all of the sauce in. If it's too thick, you can always add a little bit of water, but this right here is perfect. Give that a mix and then just go ahead and set it aside while the, cooks, the pork is still cooking and you're prepping the spicy salsa. So I have some chile de arbols that I've rinsed and taken off the stems. You can remove some of the seeds if you like. Um, go ahead and place them in a pot of water, bring them to a boil, and let them simmer for about five minutes until they get soft. Then add a quarter of a cup of the cooking liquid, garlic, and some salt, and go ahead and blend that until um, all the chili peppers are blended. Taste it and see if it needs any more salt, um, but you want this to be a nice and spicy salsa. So the timer just went off on the Instant Pot. I went ahead and released the steam and I'm going to remove my pieces of pork. Make sure you save that broth and add it back into the meat to give it some flavor and moisture. Um, you can save it for different recipes too. It's a nice flavorful pork broth. So you can see here that the pork um, turns out so nice and tender in the Instant Pot, which I love. I'm barely touching it and it's just shredding so easily. Once your pork is shredded, you could also add a little bit of oil and crisp it up in the broiler as well. That's also um, gives it a nice crispiness to it. So for the bread, for our tortas ahogadas, um, you normally use um, a kind of sourdough bread. This is a French baguette that I baked. It was par-baked from the grocery store and I just baked it again. So I'm spreading some refried beans. I have my recipe, I'll link it in the iCard. These are the Peruvian beans. You wanna put some on both sides, kind of as the glue for our torta, so that way the meat sticks to it. 
and then just go ahead and layer that shredded pork in there like I said if you wanted to crisp it up you could do that or if you wanted to use carnitas and then I'm just adding a few um, dollops of the spicy salsa you, I like to add it inside the sandwich so that way my lips aren't burning when um, when I'm eating it but you can also put it outside the sandwich as well all right you guys so here is the part of the torta ahogada is drowning the sandwich so make sure you layer that sauce on the onions on put as much of that as you can and that nice crusty bread will definitely soak it up all right you guys so there is no neat way to eat this it's gonna be messy Make sure you have plenty of napkins and it's time to dig in. Mm. So I'm not even a big raw onion fan, but adding the raw onions with the hot tomato sauce just kind of softens them and kind of takes away that um, strong flavor. It goes so well. The bread is delicious, the beans are delicious, the pork is delicious. Like I said, you can use carnitas if you like, but you saw how easy it was to make that pork tenderloin. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you try and make this recipe for tortas ahogadas. Be sure to leave me any comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.